if you've been following along, you saw we got the spindle fixed up. Well, I just got the Tesla pushed into the shop. I think it's a perfect opportunity to uh, start removing this battery. So I'm gonna ignore the phones, lock the doors. Let's see how far we get today. So just before I pull the battery out of this Model Y, I just wanted to give you a little insight while this is still in the car. So this, um, I've taken the seats out, taken the carpet out, center console out. All of that stuff is to remain on the battery. This is installed from the bottom side of the car up. So on the assembly line, when they do it, this is, uh, this is fully populated with everything. Get a good look at the seat risers there. This is welded to a big corrugation right on the top of the battery. Um, that looks like uh, it would provide a pretty significant amount of side impact resistance here. So that goes side to side on the car. Providing a lot of protection for occupants, also the battery itself. Get a good look up at the front there. That's the that's the GigaCast assembly, where it's welded to the rest of the body structure. This is another neat thing. So the center console in this thing fits into these tracks. The center console is installed in this when they, when they put the battery up in it. It's on this sliding track mechanism. So when they install it in the car, all they do is push it forward. It meets up to the HVAC assembly in the front and four bolts secure it into its place. Another good view of those seat risers, that big steel corrugation welded to the top of the battery. So everything seems to be clear powder coated, some sort of corrosion resistance. Cause nothing, this is all bare metal, but nice clear powder coat. Actually looks pretty good. There's a good look at the Giga cast assembly where it meets the top of the battery. So this is actually the top of the battery. In the regular Model 3 and Model Y, this has a floor, this would have had a floor in it. This is all stamped steel pieces welded together and you wouldn't be able to see the top of the battery, but this is, the, listen how dense that is. I foreshadow that's gonna be a difficult thing to get off the top of the battery. all these ventings. This is all mounted again to the battery. And as it comes up the bottom of the car, it's all slip fit. Everything's designed to fit up nice from the bottom. That's the RCM, the restraint control module. On the other models, that is actually mounted directly underneath the center console here. But again, since this is attached from the bottom up, that's uh, now relocated, it looks like, up onto the GigaCast. So that remains with the car itself. So I just want to point out again that even though superficially this looks like the other Model Ys, everything in here is different. This entire manufacturing process has changed. This is a whole different way to build a Model Y. Again, they look the same on the outside, but this is completely different. You know, that's one of the brilliant things about Tesla is if they come up with a better way of doing something, they just get after it. They make it happen. Could you imagine if this was a legacy automaker? This would be 10 years and meetings and design proposals. And You know, like it or not, that's why Tesla is and remains on the forefront of innovation. They can adapt quickly.
plastics off underneath here. A couple of interesting takeaways and immediate differences that we see. This is the high voltage out to the rear motor. This is the high voltage out to the heat pump. On the old battery pack, this used to run down a channel right down here. There used to be a, a center section of this. Actually, um, I have one here. This is the high voltage that used to run to the front underneath the old battery pack. Um, that's been eliminated with the structural pack. Now everything runs down the side here. So high voltage for the front motor and it runs down the side of the pack here, all the way down to the front. Coolant tubes on the outside. So this is the coolant tube on the other pack. This was underneath the flange inside the body. A couple of good differences there. Um, here you can see the giga structure again, where this is bolted up to. So this is high voltage coming from the backside up to the front motor. Coolant tube in for the battery. Again, this looks like a little bit of a different scheme. This used to have coolant tube coming in to a header manifold that would split through the four cells on the Model 3 pack. This one looks like it comes in here, runs to this side of the battery pack, to this fitting here and into the battery, through the battery, and back out this other side. All right, we got all the attachment points either out or loose. Let me just give a quick little double check here. So this is the high voltage for the front motor. That's gonna stay with the pack as it comes down. This is the high voltage for the heat pump. This is attached to the car right beside the brake lines. That's gonna stay with the car this time. I could pull those coolant tubes down at this stage, but really there's no need. So all I have left is the, I got all the perimeter bolts finger tight in here. These coolant tubes all off. Everything loose here. Yeah, this is the high voltage for the front motor. That's gonna stick with it just as I bring it down. So we'll get this down, get the vehicle supported, get the last remaining bolts out and uh, reposition the hoist. Over the several batteries we've removed, I found the easiest method is to support the car with a set of jack stands, use the hoist to physically drop the battery out onto a cart with wheels on it, reposition the hoist and then lift the car up out of the road. Once the car's up out of the road, that battery is on carts, on a cart with wheels, I can maneuver it around the shop to wherever I need it. And that's the battery removed. So the next video, I'm gonna dive into the, some of the differences I found in the penthouse between that and the Model 3. And then we're gonna get the top off of this battery. Thanks for following along.